Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Virtual DJ Pro. Now, Virtual DJ Pro has a smaller version, or just actually a free version of it, and it's called Virtual DJ Home. You can find that on pretty much any website that has software. You can find it on software.com, cnet.com, or you can find it on Virtual DJ's website. You can go over here to download Virtual DJ uh, Home free. You can download it there. You can pretty much download it anywhere that has software, like I said. Now, but today we're going to be talking about the pro version, which is going to cost you quite a bit of money. And um, make sure you are you've familiarized yourself with the home version before you actually go and buy the full version. Now, I'm going to show you some cool features within the pro version. Now, I already have a, a preloaded song. You can do that by just going into browser, and then you can drag whatever song you want. In this case, I have Sierra Leone, which is a dubstep song. And we're just going to add some really cool effects. But before we can do that, let's just familiarize ourselves with the deck. Now with the deck, um, you have the play and pause button, which will play and pause the song like it uh, like it names itself. And you can just scratch right through it like any regular turntable. Now this is a really, really cool feature as it just basically emulates a turntable, which is awesome. It does a very good job of it. Obviously, you can adjust all kinds of stuff like up here. You can adjust all kinds of cool things. Um, you got your beats, pian beats per minute. See, it's really slow, and then we can make it really fast. And you can just put it back to normal. And you can just play it. It's really, really cool, and it basically just emulates a DJ turntable. Now, right here, you can see the Pioneer logo up there. I have the Pioneer skin on it, which is another cool feature with Virtual DJ Pro. Uh, you can go into Preferences, and you can go to Skins. You can click whatever skin you want. I, In this case, I downloaded a Pioneer skin because I do have a DJ Pioneer uh, turntable. Um, and it's pretty cool actually because this basically emulates it perfectly. You can do all kinds of different decks. I, here's a six deck. Um, you can see there's six decks all the way down there. But for this case, I'm going to just put it back to the Pioneer skin because it is the most familiar with me. So once you're ready to mix your music, you can put as many, like I said, you can get up to six decks with the presets. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to leave deck number two open. And we're just going to edit with deck number one. Now, with deck number one, we can add some effects. So we go over here to our effects browser, and you can check out the stuff that we have here. So we're just going to play the song. And if we want to add an effect, we can just click add activate on deck one. That adds a pretty cool effect right there. And to take it off, we can just click activate again. Now the effect is gone. You can edit the effect over here uh, by using these little tools over here. So I wanted to take these stages and put it all the way up. And now that sounds pretty funky. And now if I wanted to put it all the way back down. It'll... See how it's kind of oscillating right there? It's actually a pretty cool effect. I really do like the phaser effect. Some of the built-in effects are really, really cool. You can also download new effects on the internet, but I haven't really got into that yet, just because I'm trying to learn the effects that they give me first. Here are some other effects. Distorter, which doesn't really do that much, actually. You can hear that's distorting it a little bit. You can just pause music, and then you can beat grind, which is probably my favorite effect. Um, I'll show you it right now. Show you, uh, this is a pretty extreme uh, version of it, but I'll show you it right now. See how that'll um, like repeat the beats. So if I wanted to make a pretty cool beat, I could do it like that. And then if I wanted to play it, and just totally change the beat. Now if you listen closely, you can tell that it changed it, but let's just do a little more extreme effect. Unactivate it, play it, and then three, two, one. See that kind of stuttered there? You can edit all kinds of stuff down here. And you can basically make it a whole new song. Now this is really, really cool as, like I said before, it emulates a DJ table. You can even do backspin. Like that, pretty cool effect. And you can do a break effect, which is pretty good and subtle. And obviously, with the beats per minute thing, you can pretty much do whatever you want um, with editing the actual sound of the music.
Now that essentially sounds like a brand new song. That's actually a really, really cool feature is the effects features down below, um, like you guys can see. And it basically makes DJ Pro worth it. Um, now this is a great tool for any DJs out there that don't really feel like lugging around all their equipment to every kind of venue they go to. You just bring your computer and you basically have almost the same experience, except you don't have the tactile feel of the DJ table. Um, but if you can get the software, I would definitely recommend it if it can run on your computer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I thank you guys for watching, and uh, that's pretty much it. This has been Tim, and I'm out.